Digital Affairs' primary goal is to help inform, educate, and share information about events that are going on around the world. Tonight is our annual general meeting. Basically what we try to do is from now on start incorporating a cultural element to the program. So tonight happens to be on Afghanistan, so we brought the cultural element and show the diversity of the clothes and the ethnic groups. Each one of us are wearing, you know, a different region's clothing. I'm wearing clothes from Herat. It's uh, on the border between Iran and Afghanistan. Well, it gives people a knowledge of Afghanistan and different like, areas, so when they see us wearing this stuff, it doesn't look like different to them if they like look at pictures of people in Afghanistan. And I'll just help them get a better view of what we wear, who we are. You know, this is really fun. Here we are going to talk about a lot of politics in Afghanistan and a lot of the tradition, the history, and, and the problems. But to be able to see these young people wearing traditional costumes, uh, be able to understand the culture, you know, it just puts a human face on this. Costumes were absolutely authentic. They were beautiful. My husband and I were in Afghanistan in 1967, and each and every one of the costumes that the girls and the young men wore were absolutely authentic. I think just the mingling part itself, I mean, just talking to different people about different cultures, you're more open to it. I think a lot of people are closed off because they don't talk to people, but this open forum about discussing your life and my life, I think it brings a lot of awareness to different cultures. And Afghans in general are kind of misrepresented or misunderstood, especially, you know, in the media. So I think events like these help to, you know, build bridges between different communities, you know, help us all kind of get to know each other. Ladies and gentlemen, we are committed to make the World Affairs Council of the Orange County the go-to place for international affairs. A county of this size deserves such a forum, and we are committed to make that happen. We have a quintessential diplomat speaking on one of the top and toughest foreign policy challenges that this nation has faced. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ambassador Ronald Newman. It's a pleasure and an honor to be with you tonight uh, at your annual meeting and to see it so well attended. And it is uh, true that I come to speak to you about an important subject. It, it's a little sad to speak about one which is sort of heavy at the end of a delightful and light evening. But this is a time when this very difficult subject of Afghanistan <coughs> needs discussion. What it means to succeed is that you have an Afghan government and an Afghan army sufficiently strong that it can carry on whatever level of fighting is necessary. If you have that, you deprive the Taliban and the insurgents of victory you create the eventual preconditions for negotiation because you don't anymore have the prospect of victory, and you create the space and time for the state to reconstitute itself from 30 years of war. I think that can happen and can reshape Afghanistan in the future, but that may be as much hope as prediction, but it's a happy note, so a good place to quit. Thank you.